Hey everybody, Repeat I'm handicapping Thoroughbred Racing on Wednesday afternoon, November the 23rd, and this is my Equibase Winter Circle East Coast Racing Report. Let's go to the Big A Aqueduct Race Course, Ozone Park, New York. First War Race 8, 3.46 p.m. Eastern Post Time. It's a six furlong sprint on the dirt track. Phillies and Mares, three years old, an up race for an optional claiming prize of some $52,000. Contenders number one, Spina. Number two, Full of Gut. Number three, Celebrity Sighting. And number eight, Hillsborough Bay. Number one, Spina has hit the board in five straight, winning four times in this recent streak of racing consistency, with three of those circle trips also qualifying as power runs. Number two, Full of Gut, the only entry in this field not taking a step up in class, has won four of her last five overall, with three of those victories also qualifying as power run wins. Jockey Javier Castellano has been in her irons on two previous occasions, posting a win and a place back this afternoon for ride number three. Race eight summary, number one, Spina tops the contenders list, which also includes number two, Full of Gut, number three, Celebrity Sighting, and number eight, Hillsborough Bay, one, two, three, eight, in the eighth from Aqueduct. Go to Churchill Downs in Kentucky next for race 7, 3.34 p.m. Eastern Post Time. It's eight and a half for all on route test on the dirt track. Three year olds and up race for an allowance prize of some $48,000. Contenders number four, Infratinity. Number one, Notoriety. Number two, Pulpit Secret. And number eight, Tackleway. Number four, Infratinity. Qualifies as a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony, takes a six-level class drop. The overall speed and pace profile lead her in this allowance field, racing at or about today's distance of eight and a half furlongs on the dirt. Has produced power run performances in five straight, hitting the board in three, including a power run win in his fifth race back. Jockey Corey Lannery and trainer Paul McGee sent him to the post. They fit the board with 53% of their entry saddle as a team to date. Number one, Notoriety, an 8 to 1 shot, has hit the board in four of his last five starts overall, winning in his fifth race back. He's coming off three straight power run board hits in his last three outings, missing a circle trip in his last race by just the photographed nose at the wire. Race 7 summary, number 4, Infratinity, tops my contenders list, which also includes number 1, Notoriety, number 2, Pulpit Secret, and number 8, Tapaway, 4128 in the 7th from Churchill Downs. Bonus long shots, Hawthorne, race 2, the 4 to 1 shot, number 1, Lipstick Lady, qualifies as a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony, the overall speed leader in this claiming field, racing at or about 8.5 furlongs on the dirt. Charlestown, race three, number nine, Frisky J, a six to one shot, takes a big class drop of 15 units, is the speed leader in this claiming field, sprinting at or about tonight's distance of six and a half furlongs. So handicapping for both Aqueduct and Churchill Downs on a Wednesday, Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over.